Okay. I guess I'm just gonna give y'all a little update on how I'm doing. Because I don't know what else to film for tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow's Wednesday. Um, if the noise in the background is bothering you, I am still doing my water through my G2. But I started with the G High. I'm still on antibiotics for it, but the pain is so much better. I am so thankful that through prayer and the antibiotics, I am feeling better. Um, I did talk to my grandfather because my grandmother had one of these. My grandmother had my tongue dystrophy and he sort of gave me a few things that might help. And of course, my mom wants me to keep doing this to see if it helps. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully this won't happen again. Because that is one of the worst pains I've ever felt. Or rib pain is probably worse. Um, and speaking of rib pain, the last two days, I have been in more rib pain because the temperature went from the 80s down to the 60s. And so, of course, that huge drop has caused me to be in more pain. I'm trying not to take pain medication. I haven't had to yet. I almost had to maybe 30 minutes ago. 20, 30 minutes ago. But I, I think it's getting better. So hopefully I won't have to do that. And then the headache pain is still, still there. Sometimes it's worse than others, like right now. But, and then, my G2. Well, that, 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 let's see. It is very red, and I'm going to spare you all the gory red stuff. Um. It's not blood, but it does look pretty, pretty bad. Um, it hurts, and even my shirt brushing up against it hurts, so that's why I've got it rolled up right now. Um, it does this, except when I go to the doctor, it's always fine, and the doctor says, it looks great. Like, you're not at home with me when it is hurting and making me feel like I'm going to die. Not really, but it really hurts and burns. So, um, I put Neosporin on it earlier. And tonight I'll put my special prescription ointment on it. Hopefully that'll help. And last but not least, my teeth. Okay. They still hurt. Even a little bit more so now, I'll say, because earlier today I made the decision to eat some popcorn, some skinny pop popcorn. And if you have not had that ice cream, it's so good and so healthy. Well, while I was eating popcorn, I've got a kernel stuck on the inside, like in between my gum and my tooth. Back on one of the teeth that has the possible root canal. So, 
I was flossing and brushing for at least 15 minutes and it just was not letting up. So, like I even tried getting floss around the tooth and then like pull them down. It didn't work. It's hard to tell if it's still there or if it's just like scarring from how hard I worked on it because by the end my gums were bleeding so badly it was like I gotta stop. So I was hoping that if it was still there I would get it out while I was eating dinner somehow. I don't know if it's still there. I can't completely tell. For all I know, I could have pushed it further up into my gums. Who knows? I will definitely try and floss and I'll brush real well with my electric toothbrush tonight. So. It's like, sometimes I think it's still there, but then sometimes I think it's gone. So. I'm not exactly sure. So. Anyways. What else is new? Oh, I think my asthma is doing better. Possibly. The last few nights. I guess every night this week. I haven't done my nebulizer, and I have not ended up coughing in the night. So that has been good. Um, I do feel like a little bit of a cold might be coming on, though. So I'm going to try to make time to do it tonight. And use essential oils, my immune system oil. Hopefully kill whatever could be going on. When I had a little bit of a sore throat this morning, I just thought I'm thirsty. But then it like didn't fully go away. Now it's just scratchy. It doesn't hurt anymore. But I feel like my nose has been running some this evening. So hopefully I'm no good though. I'm going to kick it before it gets me. I have taken oh, as many doses of Alderberry Airborne as I can today, and I would love to take another one. You know, I may have some other Airborne that I could take. Maybe if I can find it, it might be on the bookshelf over there, I don't know. If it's not there, I don't know where it is. So. I. I don't like being sick and I don't want to get sick. But I got sick before. I was around anyone, so. It's not like I got it from anyone. Other than myself. I've been to the store. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else is going on? I think that's it. Oh. I am almost done with the semester. I'm done with biology, so I just gotta finish up. Special education. Finish that up as best as I can. Um, I'm trying really hard. Itchy tooth hurts so bad and I'm not even doing anything. Um, and then I talked to my advisor today, which was a total waste of my time. Um, my advisor told me she wanted to meet with me. 
because up until this point, I've been doing online classes. She wanted to meet with me to discuss that I'm not going to be able to do online classes forever. Some of them have to be done in person. And I know that. I'm just not driving yet, so while I can, I am trying to do them online. <laughs> so, she was like, what questions do you have? I told her, I don't really have any questions. You just had told me that you wanted to meet with me since I've only been doing online classes. She was like, oh, well, do you have any questions? No. Okay. So you're taking two classes. Great. Have a good day. Bye. I hate being with a new advisor who doesn't know me and doesn't know anything. I am a part-time student. I have always been a part-time student. And she just seemed like she didn't really care either, so. Whatever. It just, it seemed like she didn't really care. But, you know what, I guess she's not paid to really care about me. Maybe she is. I don't know. I don't really care. She also wasn't very responsive in emails. We could have had this conversation over email. Really, or a quick phone call because she really didn't do much. So. So, Ty, you're taking two classes. Bye. basically the waste of time I went through. So, next semester I will be taking Development Across Lifespan and Introduction to Ethics. I wanted to take Introduction to Philosophy, but it is not offered online. So I'm taking Introduction to Ethics. Might deal with some people with different worldviews than me, but Probably gonna have to deal with them sooner or later. Um, and I think that's pretty much all that I have got going on. Just if you would pray about me finishing the end of the semester, I'd really appreciate it. I'm not sure my biology grades are entered yet. I'm thinking I passed. <laughs> but it's always nice to see the grades entered and just have that peace of mind that way. Um, I'm concerned about passing special education. So that's what I really need prayers for. Because this one has been, it's been a hard course. And I really don't want to have to take it again, unless I've, like, absolutely got to. So, that's the deal with that. I'm trying to fix my hair here, because it's bothering me. <laughs> so, anyways. As always, Please like this video, and if you aren't subscribed, I would really appreciate the subscribers and comments, because comments, you may not think a comment does much, but it actually really helps YouTube's algorithm, which then in turn helps my videos get out to more people, and I would love to be able to encourage and lift other people up, so, and thank you those of you who are very loyal subscribers, 
I know my brother is one of them. So thanks, bro. And, yeah. The end. I know Kate is also one of them. So thank you, Kate. And I will see y'all next time. Never lose hope.